and welcome to another video in the Unity UI extensions tutorial series. This time we're focus going to look at some of our UI basic controls. They offer a few extra features over most of the standard stuff um, or extra events or things, things like that. So if we quickly jump into this, if we go into our UI extensions package, you can see we have here the three UI controls. Uh, we have a UI button, which to all intents and purposes, the outside looks exactly the same, it has some extra, but it has some extra features. So it has other events. So things like when the buttons are held, so you can double click on it and a few other little things. Basically, this just gives a, a little bit extra to what the Unity UI bu Unity button gives you as, out of the box. Other ones we have, extensions is the UI flipper control. Now, again, this is basically an image control, but if I go and select, put on the Set the sprite, it's a bit bigger so you can actually see here. We've got a little a few other options which you can either access through code or through the editor itself, where you can simply flip the image horizontally or vertically, which is a little bit more tricky to do if you're actually trying to mess around with UI control. Because obviously, if you try to then put this reverse, you can't because obviously all UI controls have to be rendered forward from the camera. Obviously, this works both with um, screen space canvases or also world space canvases. And the last one we have here in this list that we'll cover in this video is the whoops, the UI window base. Now this is a slightly more advanced control, uh, which is not completely clear from the onset of using it. But basically, this is a an extra panel on your canvas, which offers offers drag and drop and actually moving features. So this this is a script and thing that you can actually add to any any control to actually make it movable or more interactable with. Uh, I suggest you play with this one a lot because there's a lot of fun funky features to do with it and it also exposes some of the better ways of how to actually do these. It's really good if you need a, a UI image that you just need to move or drag and drop and there's events for that as well. So that's a simple walk through some of the UI controls uh, for this tutorial series. Tutorial. We'll carry on with the next one right after this. <laughs> 